Today I have another gin cocktail because we still want a gin vibe and today the cocktail is again simple, 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 very simple so you can keep preparing things at home when you're uh, a self-isolate or lockdown or whatever you're doing stay safe, stay home and just have a drink you know what I mean? make a gym party, happy hour, dress nicely pretend you're in the bar, have a date how, you know, since when you went on a date with your girlfriend or wife or you know what I mean? friends and uh, just pretend you're on a date, have a nice drink together I think I might do this actually with my wife I think it's gonna be a good idea Today we're doing a cocktail called Parisian Yeah, we moved to Paris So mon ami, we moved to Paris Yeah, and I wanted to make it all with the French products But I've been looking my gin shelf here And pretty much everything is like a UK, America, Barcelona, Scotland, Germany, we have Belgium, don't have nothing French. Hmm, gotta fix that. Gotta find a French gin. Come on. Anybody recommendation for a French gin? However, I'm doing it with one of my favorite 50 pounds gin. I love this one. Available online, you can buy it. So try it. I know it's not the one which you've heard so much of it, but I love it. The gin is just wow, so good. Uh, made in sherry casks, so you get the idea how cool it's gonna be. Anyway, let's start doing a shaker. I've already got my ice inside. I got a one big cube. Uh, production of ice is gone really funny, so I'm producing ice with my. Uh, ice mold, let me show you. I have this one which is making a clear ice and it's a lovely, but it's making only obviously eight at a time and it's take up to 24 hours to bake it and you get that. Oh. Let me just see if I can. I got one small piece inside. You just take it out. Come on, come here. There you go. See, it's making, oh, let's don't drop it. It's making that nice, clear cube of ice. This is the old one, that's why it uh, doesn't look very nice and shapey. But yeah, a nice mold press, so that's what we're gonna do. I got the ice, I got the shaker. Let's make the cocktail. So, the cocktail is even part of all the ingredients. I'm starting with the gin. Originally it says tablespoon, which is 15 ml. Uh, I think I'm gonna go a little bit higher, maybe 20. I don't know, 15 mil it sounds for me a little bit too, kind of annoying enough. So I'll do a 20 mil of each. There you go, 20 mil of gin. Right, we got the gin in. Then, because it's Parisian cocktail, Paris, I'm going with the, you know, this is called the Rolls Royce of Vermouth, Noili Prat. It's wonderful dry vermouth. I don't know if you ever try it. If you don't, please do me a favor when you can try it. It's fantastic. Noily Prat, product of France. So there you go. We're going to France now. 20 ml of Noily Prat dry vermouth. How wonderful. Oh, I love it. It's really good. And we have creme de cassis. Now you can use any creme de cassis. France have wonderful liqueurs and wonderful cassis liqueurs. I'm using one which is called Joseph Cartron and it's liqueur de France. It's creme de cassis de Bourgogne. Bourgogne, 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 Bourgogne. I don't know. I'm such a bad in French. So if I'm saying it wrong, apologize. 20 ml of creme de cassis. Now we have the gin. The 50 pound gin it's not very much uh, juniper orientated, I mean of course there is a juniper but it's more on the, the fruity and the berry side. This is why I pick for this cocktail because it's mixed really nice with berries. It's working fantastically with berries and cassis it's kind of a berry so <clears throat> the gin with the cassis it's gonna work magic and then the dry vermouth Noili Prat it's gonna bring down the sweetness a little bit and give you this dry notes 
which is gonna make this cocktail fantastic aperitif. Let's kick the ice inside and let's give it a shake. So funny shaking just with one ice inside. I probably should have break it. Anyway, we leave it as it is. Lovely. Oh man, oh man, ooh. Da think Parisian cocktail. It's test. Oh my gosh. Serving martini or a cup glass. Uh, I choose this one because it's a very elegant uh, glass in my collection. I keep it in a special cover because they're so fragile. But I think it's the perfect glass for this cocktail. Again, no garnish, no nothing. Just you and your fantastic cocktail to enjoy. This is the Parisian. Let's see. Oh. Mm. Wow, I'm having a moment here. Yeah, bring me back. I was in France, in Paris. Uh, I don't know how many years ago, we have a wonderful time with my wife, sipping drinks like that. Oh yes. Sweet, little dry touch from the vermouth, a nice, very soft, like a warm flavor coming from the gin. Oh man. Yeah, I'm having a moment, yeah, sorry, sorry. This is it guys. Then you have it, Parisian cocktail. My name is George. You watch Just Shake or Steer. Please like and subscribe. Let's keep this channel going. I'm trying hard, okay? I am trying, and I hope uh, you give me some feedback. What you want me to do? Short, long videos. Talk about products more. More about bartending, mixology. Some maybe theory about you know bar equipment how to use the motor just hit me with anything any comment much appreciated i really i really like to hear from you until the next time i love you and leave you don't forget to like and subscribe i'll see you in the next video bye bye